Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So in my last video, I told you guys that we are going to be cleaning. So I am in my kitchen and my kitchen is Trife Life. Um, quarantine definitely been like tearing up my kitchen. So I'm gonna go ahead and deep clean my kitchen um, since I have nothing but time and it needs to be done. So if you guys wanna see this video and deep clean my kitchen with me, then keep watching. All right, so the first thing I had to do was remove all of the dirty dishes from in my sink. Um, Cinco de Mayo was the other day and I partied a little bit, so I had a lot of dirty dishes. So I'm just going to wash the dishes that were in there and just stick them in my dishwasher. Um, I typically use uh, dish detergent from TJ Maxx or like Marshalls, but obviously they are closed because of COVID-19, the coronavirus. So I'm just using like a basic Dawn dish detergent. Okay, so I got most of the dishes done. I mean, I got the sink empty. And now I'm gonna go ahead and spray my stuff in the oven because my oven needs to be cleaned very badly. If I'm cooking something and something drips in the oven and the oven is hot, I can't clean it, obviously. So it dries and then once it's dry, it's kind of like hard work and then it continuously happens and the next thing you know, your oven looks trife life. So we're gonna clean it today. So to clean the oven, I'm gonna use the Super Oxygen um, Foaming Cleaner, and this is from Dollar Tree. And I always get this, I use this to clean the shower, I use this to clean everything. So this is just like the dupe of the Lysol version, and it works just as well, and it's only $1 at Dollar Tree. Okay, so after I sprayed that evenly over everything, I'm just going to remove my racks. And um, I just let it sit in the oven for about five minutes. And then after I let it sit, I just go in and kind of scrub everything out. And it should be easy to come out once it's been sitting. To scrub, I use Brillo pads. These things are like, I love Brillo pads. These are also a dollar at Dollar Tree. And basically, they just scrub any and everything. They already come pre-soaked and everything. All you have to do is wet it and use it. So if you live in like an apartment or if you're renting, I really suggest you do this often. Just kind of clean everything because at the end you have to clean everything and it's so hard. I've done it before. I've lived somewhere and never cleaned my oven until it was time for me to leave and it was horrible. So I suggest you to kind of clean as you go. That way it's not as bad. Although I did obviously a lot of scrubbing. This took me about 45 minutes just to clean the oven, but it still won't be as bad Um as if I waited until it was time for me to move out. So I'm moving on to my refrigerator. I had to grab my trash can because I wanted to throw out all of the things that I didn't want. Um, I don't know if anybody else deal with this, but like when you go to the market, everything is like family size or large. And a lot of things I don't end up eating and it just kind of go bad in my refrigerator. So I'm just throwing out all of that trash and just kind of removing everything from my refrigerator so I can clean her out. So after I got all of the food off of the shelves, I'm just going to go ahead and move the shelves themselves. And I'm going to stick them in my sink, reasons I clean my sink out when I clean. Um, that way I can go ahead and wash out all of the shelves and all of the drawers that were in the refrigerator. I just used my Dawn soap and a little bit of white vinegar to wash the shelves. I didn't do anything special. I kind of just uh, washed them and wiped them down and then rinse the soap off and set them on the side to dry. After I got done with the shelves, I just went ahead and wiped the entire refrigerator down and I just used the vinegar and I used a little bit of the Everspring spray but I'll show it later in the clip. Um, and yeah, just wiped everything down, wiped everything out and made sure I got everything sticky out and then after I did that, I replaced all of the drawers and all of the shelves, but when I put my shelves back in, I rearranged them because um, my shelves were put in uh, by, I guess, the leasing office when I first moved in, and I never switched them around, and I hate the arrangement of the refrigerator, so I kind of rearranged it um, for what will work better for me, and I like it so much better in this style versus the way that it was before. And then obviously I put all of the food back in the refrigerator. Um, this is all of the food that I wanted to keep and that wasn't old or expired and I didn't want to throw away. 
um, which was not a lot of food, obviously. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just went ahead and stuck it back in the refrigerator. And then after I do that, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the doors because I had a lot of stuff I had to throw away, obviously, on the doors because clearly I am a condiment collector. So I went ahead and I did the same exact process to my door, kind of sprayed everything down, wiped it down, took everything out, and just replaced it, threw, a thing, threw away the things that I didn't want, and um, yeah, same exact process, and that was it for the refrigerator. Obviously, I am a little person, so I have to climb my cabinets to get in my cabinets and to clean my cabinets. So I went ahead and climbed on top of my cabinets just to wipe down my top cabinets. Like I said, I suggest you to do this if you're like renting because a lot of times the cabinets can get greasy and you will have to clean them when it's time to move out and it's so hard when it's really sticky. So just do it like as you go along and it makes things so much easier. Alright, so moving on to my countertops, let's remove the tequila from Cinco de Mayo. And um, I'm just removing everything, you know, from my countertops just to wipe them down. And here's the Everspring that I was telling you about. It's just an all-purpose cleaner. They have it at Target, and I always buy it. It's, like, super inexpensive. I think it's, like, $3 or $3.99, and I use it for everything. It smells good. I think they have, like, three different um, scents, and they all smell good. So that is what I always buy. This side of my counter always gave me so much anxiety because it collect junk. And I bought this little bin thing to collect junk, but then the junk bin starts to look junky, so I got to clean out the junk bin. And I don't know, it always collects wires, and wires give me anxiety because it's like, why are they there? What are they for? I want to throw them away, but then it's like, they might be for something, so I always end up keeping them, which makes more junk. But I'm going to just go ahead and wipe the side of the counter down and do the exact same thing. Use my Everspring, spray it down, and wipe it down just like I did the other side. Okay, so y'all know I've been obsessed with TikTok. So last step, I had to mop the floor, so I went ahead and used a concoction I seen on TikTok, which was lemon juice, olive oil, and water, and the floors actually turned out pretty good. I'm so tired that took me like three or four hours to do the longest time but we got it done I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up comment down below and let me know which room I should clean next and I will catch you guys in my next one I'm out peace bye